Well, y'all, Belle Delphine has recently made another business venture, and if you're familiar with her last popular one where she sold bath water, this one may not come as a surprise, even though it is creepy as hell. If you have no idea who Belle Delphine is, bless your soul, you might be a lucky person here in 2024, but sit down and buckle up and get some tea if you want to, because I'm about to be introducing you to this interesting character. Now, she is a corn star, and she's a popular YouTuber. She has a TikTok. She's on multiple platforms, but her main content niche is NSFW content. Now, if you are unfamiliar with her, here are a couple clips so you can kind of get the gist of how she is. content. Anyways, when you think about Belle Delphine, either exploiting a dead octopus comes to mind or selling bath water that gave people herpes comes to mind. So the first half of this video, we're going to be diving into that whole bath water fiasco, but then we're also going to be talking about her new business venture where she is selling a doll of herself for adult purposes and it's shipping out in a casket. So yeah, that's fun. I guess it comes with a casket so that whenever the UPS delivers it to your front door and they're like what the actual fuck you can just put your dignity in that casket and bury it wherever you find appropriate real yes. and how yes. long did it take to fill up that many jars of bath water and how many and how long did you soak in and how many baths did you have to take so i did it in like intervals like just because i didn't know how many people would order this i just kind of did it because i could <laughs> and i kind of wanted to see if i could i mean it, um so i kind of i go in the bath and then just like chill out, play some like podcast or some show or something and just fill it up and scoop it out. And then, you know, I probably have like a hundred for one bath and then I go in the next bath and like do it again. So it was real bath water. Now, when she put out this bath water, I mean, obviously there's weird people out there. Somebody was gonna end up buying it and a lot of damn people bought it. She claimed she only made 18,000 off of bath water. But in articles, it's saying she made upwards of 10 million, you guys. But then in this tweet that she's talking about how she took the biggest L ever when making this bathwater, she was saying she lost $90,000 to it, saying that PayPal just took her account from her and the $90,000 that was deposited in her account, saying that she has no way to get it back. It is speculation that she ended up breaking the terms of service with PayPal, and that's why they took her account from her. And again, it is speculation as to why. She broke the terms of service and a lot of people I have been seeing are saying because she sold bath water that quite literally made people sick and infected them and PayPal just didn't see that as like an appropriate transaction. She didn't have a disclaimer on her bottles, which she ends up talking about, and that's why she lost all this money. Delphine arrested for selling bath water. No, but I did get into a little bit of a sticky, like a legal thing, because basically when I sold it, I didn't put any disclaimer on the website and I didn't put any disclaimer on the packaging. So what I had to do was I had to re-email everyone who bought it and say like, you need to sign this before I can send it to you. Most people replied back mm. and then I was covered, but I, I just forgot to put that disclaimer. And apparently that disclaimer is very important because someone in America could drink it and be like, this, you know, made me sick. Wasn't that a bit of a kerfuffle? That would just be befuddle me too. Who knew drinking somebody's dirty bath water would make somebody sick? <laughs> also, I think that's very dumb on her end. She wanted to do this just to do it, but it's a product at the end of the day that she was selling. Even if it was just bath water, it's a product that she's putting out there. And she did give a disclaimer like it's just for sensual use, which people ended up not using it for sensual uses, which I don't even know what that would mean. But they were drinking it and vaping it, okay? But she was saying that that was the only disclaimer she really put out there. There was no packaging, which, again, it's a product. You have to say something on the damn packaging. Like, like hey, here are the ingredients, and it's just bath water and whatever else was on my body when I got into the bathtub. Or, hey, like, if you drink this and get sick, like, we're not responsible. Something, you know what I mean? And she didn't do anything. And, of course, 
there was legal repercussion. But Missy Ma'am ended up going to Twitter and she said, since it's been a couple years, now I can finally share the biggest L I've ever taken. Not only did I not earn any money selling my bath water, I in fact lost money doing it. At PayPal, without any warning, closed my PayPal account and took the $90,000 that I earned from selling my bath water. There was nothing I could do. I tried phoning them up and they just said, sorry, nothing we can do. She did tag two photos or post two photos in this post and one was her with the game gamer girl bathwater and then another was her transaction from PayPal taking that $90,000 which is absolutely bizarre. I know she made this money in a really interesting way selling her bathwater but at the end of the day it was still her money. If people were weird or dumb enough to buy this product and then ingest it that's on them, and I do understand she should, should have put a disclaimer on that product, but at the end of the day, she did make that damn money. So for PayPal to just take that from her and not give her any type of way to get her funds, that is just absolutely bizarre. Now, I did show y'all the photo. I'll include it here again of claims being made by CNN, and I can't remember the other one, but I'll, again, I'll post the photos here so y'all can see them where they were saying and alleging that this bathwater was giving people an STD. There was this one video that was interesting, funny, weird, all the above. Like, it made me really uncomfortable, sick to my stomach, but I was giggling at the same time. I don't know the emotion or the proper words to describe how I was feeling, but it was a man who bought her bathwater and vaped it. Yeah, put that thing in a vape. Uh, let's let's watch. Heard Bell was bottling up her own filthy bath water and selling it for thirty dollars a jar. I knew I had to get some. Here it is, Bell Delphine's so-called gamer girl bath water. Using an eyedropper, I will remove a trace amount of the goddess potion, gently transferring it to the containment chamber. Before I can begin this ritual, I must call my father. Hey there, Dad. I know it's, it's just me. I know you didn't answer, but I just wanted to let you know I'm doing better now. And I just ordered myself some Gamer Girl bath water, which is just bath water in a jar that came from some woman who sits in a bathtub and scoops it out all day. And I just wanted you to know that I'm about to vape it, but I call it the goddess's potion. So don't worry. I'm going to be fine. I just wanted to call you and let you know I'm doing great. Jeez, I'm a cool kid now, Dad. <laughs> say he's still coughing to this day today we, we got a very special treat i know i say that every video but i I'm, i mean it this time dad's coming back everyone knows about this youtuber i guess she's not a youtuber she's like a gamer girl she's a ee -E thought if so you as you can tell a lot of sane people are buying this bath water and drinking the shit out of it Great. Gross. On from that scandalous drinking bin where people are getting sick and infected. And now she's out there selling dolls that have an adult purpose. And that's the best way I can put it. So she said over on X, ever wanted to F me? Now you can almost F me. <laughs> she said, I'm selling my very own customized S toy, including my own clothes and worn panties. How creepy. It's basically me, but less annoying. <laughs> with the shrug emoji. Then she said if you wanted to buy one, just to go to OF and message her over there for business inquiry only. I'm just kidding. Now, I watched, I believe it was Sensitive Society who had made a video about this, or I can't remember. It was one of the people that I normally watch, and they were saying, or I had seen it in the comment section, that somebody was saying that these dolls go for like five to 10000 That is absolutely insane. Can we just take a quick look at the packaging? It ships inside of a real coffin, a pink sparkly coffin with worn panties included what since it's a real coffin i legit wonder if you can be buried in this bitch like provide them your own coffin like a pink sparkly coffin and be like i'll pay for the funeral plan pack it whatever it is but i'll provide my own coffin because i want a pink sparkly one on a side note i don't i'm not familiar with s dolls but this one looks like a shitty I am through character. Like, get your bag however you want to get your bag, but to me it's just super bizarre that she's made herself into an S doll selling it in a pink coffin, a pink sparkly coffin. Um, but to sell your own bath water and everything else too, like that's just super bizarre to me. But anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I do have a Patreon. Yeah, that's 
kind of fun. I'm going to be posting over there maybe once or twice a week, and I look forward to seeing any of you guys who trickle on over there. I'll catch you in the next video.